Oh, I didn't realize we're going. Welcome back to a brand new book talk. Book talk episode 5 of my book. Premiering July 25th of Return of Book Talk. Usually professional YouTubers would already know where they're at before they start. But. I guess. I can find it right now. Uh, someone gets shot. Don't listen to me. Spoiler. Hold on. How hard is it to find the part where he's in the fucking kitchen? Kill everyone. Aha! Here we are. Welcome back, guys. I hope you didn't miss me over this month. You know me talking about other videos. Oh, God, fucking annoying. I hate Dustin. I said that. I'll give you a couple of days to recover, and we'll get you new things. I'm a fucking retard, and I spelt new K-N-E-W. That's I, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that already. I knew to do my homework that night. I knew I should have studied. You okay? I'm done. I'm sorry. Not N E W. New things. Tyler responded. Jameson noticed how calm he was about all of this and how much he hid his emotions. Okay. Sounds good. So, I have a typo. I guess just give me the heads up. One will go, Jameson said. Jameson was still wearing the same clothes and realized he was going to be bored. He wondered if he could sneak in the house and grab some stuff. Things, clothes, you know, more description probably would have been better. Like his books or drawing notebook. Something that made him feel happy and at home. What a little bitch. Wherever his home may be. I'm pretty sure maybe is one word too. Dad, do you think it is possible to sneak back and grab some stuff? Jameson asked. Yes, but be careful. If you get caught, you don't live here. Well, thanks, Father. I'm glad to know you love me. I'm just kidding. That's not part of the book. His father responded. It was then he would return and grab his things. You know, I keep talking about it. Jameson wondered if the cops would still be there, or even the fucking detectives. If things went wrong, he could run. And he could run fast. Okay, I will be back. Jameson said as he started out the door, Jameson had to come had come to learn the Awui ways. They were like a maze system and knowing what led where was really good to know. Jameson knew it would be risky to be on the main road. Being on the street, you picked up things that may save your life. He went around the house and through the back gate. I guess he's already at the house. A full three sentences saying that he knows the alleyways and he's at the house. Great, good job, Dustin. He got a running and through the back gate. He got running his start and ran toward Listen to this paragraph. He went around the house. So that means he went out the front door when his dad's house probably has a back door. Goes out the front door, doesn't want to be seen in public. Goes out the front door, goes all the way around the house to the back. 
jumps over the fucking fence. Even though the gate was open. And could have walked through. Good job, Dustin. That deserves one of these. Great fucking paragraph. Piece of shit. <laughs> he surprisingly landed on his feet. And he actually made it over. Nice. Cool. Let's give this guy a fucking award. His old house was a couple blocks away. At first he started off walking. But he started to pick up the pace. Mostly because he wanted to get this done. His mom's body was in the living room. So he figured Tenter in the back. Too risky. Jameson figured to walk. I'm going to skip those three sentences. I'm sorry that I just completely stopped. The gate creaked as Jameson open, opened it. The grass in the back wasn't the only thing dead. I'm sorry I just skipped those. I need to stop falling asleep in English class. According to this book, the gate creaked as Jameson opened it. The grass in the back wasn't the only thing dead. Ooh, I like that. Good job. Jameson ran inside because he heard... The voice of people coming around the building. Jameson ran and ducked under the window. Didn't he? Didn't I just read that he went inside? Sorry about that. Uh, he could. See people coming around the building. Jameson ran and ducked under the window. He could see the shadows of what he assumed to be detectives. Passed by. The shadows passed by, so Jameson wasn't alone. He stayed crouched and went toward his room. Checking the hallway, Jameson opened the door slowly. There in the room was heavy. He grabbed his old school backpack, starting putting shit in it. Just kidding, it says anything. Anything that would fit in it. His books were important. There's an ant on my computer. That kind of pisses me off. If you were to watch the video, the video I put up, things not to do when you're making a video. Don't get off topic. Anything that would fit in it. His books were important. His sketch pad. Jameson stopped. Those people are close. Oh, fuck. The two of them, to be exact, walked in his bedroom. They had their little notepads out. Like fucking Steve off of Blue's Clues. No more than ten minutes. They had their little notepads out and were completely oblivious to the boy in the closet. No more than ten minutes and they turned around. And left. Jameson heard the front door close and the car drive off. He's got good hearing. But goddamn. Jameson had the backpack in his hand and bolted for the door. That was too close of a call, Jameson said. And he ran faster. Faster than he ever did in his life. Jameson had at least grabbed had at least grabbed his book and his drawing book. Alleyway after alleyway, until he was in the backyard of his father's house. Jameson's heart was pounding. So he walked in slowly. How'd it go, boy? His dialer said. Don't get off topic in the videos, guys. It's a great tip. I got, I got my stuff, Jameson gasped, you stuttering bitch. You look like you've seen a dead body, Tyler chuckled. Too close to a call, Jameson replied. Jameson 
just shut down and went straight to bed. No more than a couple hours went by before Jameson was up. What surprised him the most was how the outside of the house looked, but the inside was well furnished. Because earlier in the book, or sometime in the book, I described his house as a piece of shit. But the inside, I guess, is nice. The house wasn't too small, and not too big. Jameson's father was watching football. The New Orleans Saints, to be exact. Yeah, boy! Woo-hoo-hoo! I knew I liked this kid for a reason. Yeah, I like this author. author. Yeah. Yeah. This book may not be that bad after all. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like this kid. The house wasn't too small and not too big. Jameson's father was watching football. The New Orleans Saints, to be exact, and his father was hooked because Drew Brees is fucking godly. Jameson didn't even say anything. He just sat down right next to him. Jameson didn't hate football, but honestly, he didn't care for it. I like this dad character. Jameson sat there for the remainder of the game as the people in the black and gold scored touchdown after touchdown. His father finally said they were going shopping. Woo! Yeah, let's go get some New Orleans Saints gear. Fuck yeah, I like this kid. Jameson followed his father into the garage and they both piled into the car. Jameson buckled up as the garage door opened and they were off. Now we reach part two of the book. Part two, guys. Where shit finally starts happening. I should probably start saying, stop saying this, because I'm ruining it, the book. Jameson had only been to the store a couple of times. Walmart. Jameson's father derived, derived way over the speed limit, but surprisingly didn't get pulled over. What a fucking G. Jameson's father pulled into the parking lot, and parked close to the front. Jameson was still surprised how everything was calm. Father, his father's car was nice. Probably Grand Theft Auto. Jameson had never seen a car like it before. Jameson was a fucking idiot. Jameson was actually happy, yet he thought he would be sad. I keep hearing people outside and it's scaring me. Okay, guys, that is going to end this episode of Book Talk. I am sorry it is shorter. I'm sorry it is shorter than usual. But, welcome back. Episode 5.